Let's do some news! My name is Mike B.A.K. Phony. Today's date is June 25th, 2021. Who is actually wearing pants right now? Not I. I mean, I'm wearing sh shants that are really comfortable. It's like, it's like really, really comfy and no underwear. Ladies and gentlemen, whoever wants to sub my OnlyFans. Hello, chat. Thank you so much for joining us today. I see that those things are still not moving. I see that the animated things are still not moving from the last episode. Jeez, Mike, please. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, is it the talk about me not wearing underwear? Is that what it is, Noxie? I know. Put your put your wet. <laughs> Noxie's so direct. So direct. All right. So, 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 so. Last week. Friday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I went camping. Had a great, had a great, great time. It was awesome. Three whole days of no internet, no signal. It was terrifying, but also pretty good. You know what else happened in those three days? Well, last week, we talked a little bit about the ear licking slash yoga meta. And guess what? Indie Fox and Amaranth were banned. And I was like, whoa, I didn't even know because I wasn't here that I had no signal. So I couldn't check and see. Not like I'm checking, but I'm sure somebody it would have been somewhere. It would have been on LSF. It would have been a Discord somewhere. Somewhere. This is the day I went camping. The day that I came back from camping. I'm banned. <laughs> Already back. <laughs> Twitch just handing out three day, just three days, folks. Here you go. Take a three day weekend. It's Juneteenth. It was a federally observed holiday now. You can just go and take the three day with three days off. You're good. You're good. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's true again. So they both got a three day ban. This is um, Indie Fox is their fifth ban, I believe. And you can bet your ass just by every single one of them was for something, something similar to what she got banned for this time. Three days is so rough. It's so rough. <sighs> Did they go with you? That's, that's what it was. I organized the whole thing. It was great. It was great. <laughs> six. Oh, six ban? Six? I've lost track. So does she. She doesn't care. We talked about, we, last week we touched on about how specifically Indy Fox was talking about uh, how one of two ways you know, she gets banned or whatever, um, or the, 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 or the, uh, the act of ear licking in yoga pants gets banned and then they move on to something else and everyone forgets about it in a month or, you know, she just gets super popular. She's like, I'm going to get popular either way. Hee hee hee. Ah! Indie Fox photo shoot. Fuck, that's a huge waste of time, man. That's the biggest waste of time. <sighs> just kidding. Indie Fox hit me up. I'm really good at what I do. Um, and now they're both back on. They're both back on. Uh, Amaranth actually is live right now. She's back on Pickle Rick. Doing the usual. What's this one? New hot tub. She got her ads back. So she's running ads now. This is live, by the way. Uh, she's running ads now. And just, you know, back on her shit. So she has a closet of Pickle Ricks. I can't tell if you're joking. Uh, fun fact, they're all from this year. We covered that too. That's right. All of them are from this year. Fucking crazy. No joke, real? Fuck me. Of course. Of course. So, they're back. They're back to doing the, the hot tub thing. They're the, well, whatever kind of tub that is. <laughs> the room temperature tub. <laughs> and pipping their Instagram, pipping their, uh, uh, their OnlyFans and all that good stuff. It's fine. It's fine. Family friendly site. Family friendly site. It's, I don't know worry about guys. It's totally fine. Totally normal. <sighs> they will find something new. She only has 16,000 viewers right now. So I'm sure she's going to find something new. And she's been on for like seven hours or something. Some s stupid. Yeah, seven hours and five minutes, actually. Um, I'm sure they'll find some new way to exploit the terms of service. And Twitch will be like, oh, I just don't know if this really breaks the rules or not. Hmm. <laughs> and they'll fucking sit on it forever. 
and just you know gosh it's just making us money though so nah, i don't know if it's because of money just kidding it's because of money <laughs> you can't convince me otherwise you can't convince me otherwise man of course of course of course if they were if they if they were getting 10 views like 10 views and twitch is coming down on them you know they wouldn't be back it would be like ah eh, over see ya if you want to see your numbers and subscribers what is this like public info what is this Oh, Twitch tracker. Yeah. Oh, God, I haven't been here in a minute. Currently active subscriptions. She's down 2,502. Ooh, God damn it. I, fuck, are you kidding me? That's crazy. That's, the highest I've been is like 583 or something like that. Isn't that wild? Jesus Christ. 17,823. Yeah, it's a lot of money, dude. I mean, that's good. Good for them. Current actively gifted subs, 10,000. All-time high active subs, June 2021. All-time high active subs was actually just this month. Hot tub meta, ear licking meta. Boy, those things really help. All you gotta do is wear some tights, bend over from the camera, and then slurp, slurp, slurp. There was, I wish I could play this other clip. There was another um, Hydro X or something. Uh, there was another streamer who she was uh, uh, she was upset that she got banned and she blamed that she pulled the race card saying that was because the other two were white and they got only a three day and she got a six or seven day or something like that. But then uh, I, I was like, surely there's more to this. And so I dug in a little bit deeper and I found the clip of what she was doing at the moment or roughly around the time that she got banned. Uh, and she was wearing like some shorts with her ass hanging out facing the camera and slobbering all over a popsicle, like a lollipop and making some of the like, like, like it was like it was a penis, okay? That's what she was doing. That's what she was doing. She kind of, I mean, like I understand it's kind of the same as what Amaranth the Indie Fox is doing, but but she was literally like, come on, man, like for reals. Uh, who else got banned for that recently? Um, Adriana Ch 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 Chechnik, Chechik, Chechnik. Um, yeah, Adriana, Adriana Chechik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got she got banned for uh, uh, for slobbering all over a popsicle. I think the popsicle is the line. Yeah, you can't you can't take a bomb pop and just you can't do that. You can't take a bomb pop and just fucking do that on on Twitch. That's where they that's where they that's where they draw it. Uh, don't Google her name live. No, I know better. Are you kidding me? She's one of my favorites, dog. <laughs> she one of my favorites. She good at what she do. <laughs> she has a lot of content. Lots of content, though. That's right. Yeah, but she was like slobbering all over that shit and dripping, dripping drool all over and everything. So it was like, yeah. And this and this other hydro something. She got banned for the same thing. Tried to pull the race car, and it was like, no, you were actually deep throating a bomb pop. And then later you were fucking a pillow and making moaning sound sounds. So it's a little bit different. Wait, there is a line? Yeah, it's throating pom pops, dude. <laughs> Bookmarked and shit. Yeah, it's bookmark that shit for later. Um, so, oh, God. Hey, that doesn't sound race card at all, but it sounds like total BS to get more. Eh, whatever. Eh, whatever. So, uh, earlier today, earlier today, uh, when I thought I had basically no news, I was like, ah, it's just an update on what happened last week and a couple small things that are just, ah, whatever. Jordan, Mr. Banana, he drops me a link uh, and he says, this might be pretty good for news. And so I start digging and I start digging and I start digging and I start digging and I'm just like, holy shit. This runs deep. So... Maybe some of you guys already knew this, but there is a gambling section on Twitch, right? Slots. It's called slots. And on here, we have a bunch of people who, uh, a bunch of streamers who just basically, they just stream them playing online. Just like some online slots thing, right? Uh, and... They're betting, I mean, they're betting a $20 bet. He's got a $20,000 balance. Look at him, he's like, $20, $20, $20. Just, 
boom, boom, boom. And we've had previous uh, encounters with gambling related to the Twitch community, right? Uh, back with uh, Syndicate and T. Martin. Uh, back with um, uh, uh, CS Golato, right? And we've had histories with gambling trying the gambling industry trying really the gaming industry is what it's really called but for we'll call it gambling industry just for the purpose of this show um and they've been trying different ways of j just just get in there and just get just get those kids hooked man just 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 get them just, just get them in there and just use mom dad's money and just start gambling now just get them hooked Get them hooked now. They'll not, you might not get all of them hooked forever, but you'll get some. And over the life, the, over their life, you'll earn plenty of money from them. We're talking about those big slot wins are all fake. <clears throat> so, in the case of CSGO Lotto, uh, with T. Martin and Syndicate, they were uh, promoting their own sites, if I recall. This is this, this is like 2016 or something like that. I found a DigiHoo where we talked about it, right? Uh, that's how long ago it was, okay? Just so you know. Uh, and they were uh, rigging the game in their favor by logging in as an admin. Uh, and they got caught because I think T. Martin probably had the, the admin window open while he was gambling. And so, and he opened it up on stream. <clears throat> it's always It's always some like some s stupid mistake done by somebody on stream that gets them caught, right? It's never like investigative journalism or something like who owns this company and who owns this and who owns that. It's never that. It's always these dumbasses accidentally showed something they weren't supposed to on stream. And so get dopamine now, get regrets later on. They're already, yeah. Where are those Pokemon slot machines? <laughs> They're coming, I'm sure. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? They already exist in Vegas. There's all kinds of uh, of games that are not, not not strictly Pokemon, but there's like Indiana Jones and there's like other. That's just the first one I can think of. But uh, there's other like family friendly games like uh, IPs that are attached to gaming, like like gambling. Um, hey, I found this new gambling site that I do not have ownership in. Yep. Uh, so yeah, they're they. I mean, Vegas is all over, and all all other gambling entities, they're already all over it, right? They they know, they know. See, Konami makes the vast majority of their money from gambling machines. I am sure they do. So lately, there's been a handful of sites. Um, I mean, this guy is this guy's using Rollbit. There's Rollbit. There's Dual Bits. There's Rubit. There's Prime Dice. There's Stake.com. These are all uh, these are all sites that. Um, that just lets you just go and just gamble online. And s a lot of them sponsor some of these streamers. For example, this guy over here in the bottom right corner, he's not just playing this for fun. He is sponsored. You can see right here, it says Code Yasuo, right? And it says for up to 50% in cash back bonuses, right? Let's go to another one. Let's go to this other guy. Let me see. Oh, he's not. Oh, yeah. He's also on Rollbit, right? He's on Rollbit. And he's also getting his hair done. Uh, <laughs> but he has, look, he already has, he has like a move by or, or, or a command, a chat command that probably gives information on, on uh, how to sign up. So you follow his only chat. I'm not going to follow to get this, but uh, multi, the new haircutting meta. <laughs> so yeah, in general, like there's a handful of sites that are here's stake.com that are, uh, uh, that are sponsoring some of these players. <clears throat> now, what we discovered a couple weeks ago was that in some cases, the uh, the companies are actually paying the streamers in an, uh, an insane amount of money and covering their losses. So here is an example. This is Ed, this is Ed and Ross. Um, Ed and Ross is he's pretty popular streamer just probably not in a in a in a realm that you guys probably all participate in maybe a couple of you guys um <clears throat> but he now lives in mexico i'll explain that in a minute uh and here he accidentally shows a discord dm with him and somebody at dual bits where he says uh he says they offered me a bag 
which means money, okay? <laughs> I'll walk you through this, all right? So they offered me money, uh, and it's, and Dual Bits says, I offered you guys nearly two million a month. And then he says, you offered, he says, I need dick. He means I need more. <laughs> you offered 1.4 and didn't want to cover expenses. Rubet is covering expenses, plus we get a referral code. So we are getting more. Sorry, bro. Maybe we could work again someday. So they're getting two million. He's fighting for two million dollars and to have his expenses covered. I hope you guys understand that expenses covered is not just like uh, your internet cable bill and your power bill and some utilities or whatever, right? He's talking about losses. That is losses. Okay. So when you're gambling, when when this guy's gambling, he is saying here that Rubet is saying that they're going to cover his losses. Gambling for free. Why on earth? Why on earth would any any company, any gambling company cover losses? Why? Probably because they're making a good amount of money on the back end, right? On the flip side, they're getting money from everybody that's signing up and they're getting so much money that they can afford to pay two million dollars a month now this is adam ross right he's a big streamer but he's not as big as some of these other guys that we're going to talk about i'm gonna take a sip real quick not really i'm not trying to get ready for anything but no serious this is a long time <sighs> so two million a month from dual bits some reason casino seem to give rooms to big spenders that yeah get them in there Except for in this case, the target is going to be people on Twitch. They're trying to get people on Twitch to sign up, right? <clears throat> nice trap. Looks like it actually wins. The addictive gambler, if that's right. That's right. So then, recently, more recently than two weeks ago, like earlier today, yesterday, or something like that, XQC accidentally shows a DM from Train, Train Rex, uh, talking about moving to canada to gamble why would they be moving we'll talk about that in a minute so here's what happened i'll see if i can pause it just the right moment we'll play it back at 20.25 x we'll catch it we'll catch it guys we'll catch it here we go all right slow-mo here he is and then uh 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 where is it where is it and then boop oh god i missed it well there it is there it is so on the screen, you can see that there's a DM in Discord from Trainwreck. Why would anybody do this? Why would... <sighs> Don't leave DMs open. Jesus Christ. 101. 101. <sighs> and it may be kind of difficult to read what it is, especially on there. Like through a, through a clip of a stream to a stream. <laughs> to a picture in picture in a stream. But somebody did, and you can read it when you look at look at a full screen. You can read some of it. And it says here, I have a transcript here, and I'll read it to you. As a matter of fact, I'll open up the picture that they pulled it from. It says, not very clear. Yeah, not very clear. There you go. Okay, can you guys read this okay? Can you guys read this okay? All right. So it says here, Train says... Um, if you end up going to another site, make sure you do your research. Most have shitty histories. You don't want that coming back to you in a year. So just make sure you do your research for another site. And XQC, XQC says some other stuff. He says, um, oh, XQC says, says, uh, can we play for one more day? And Train says, ask Eddie, who's the gambling website owner for a stake. Um, and if he says yes, you have to make a new account and he has to ban your other one. Then you have to play on full screen or block in between games. You cannot show you're on stake at all. That's why Canada needs to happen ASAP, and you need to let me or Eddie know if you're down and when. I'm going to leave for Canada on Friday. Keep that low, though. Don't want my soccer to fuck with me. Uh, also, bro, let me know what you want to do. Eddie keeps bugging me about it. So this is what it says. All right. <clears throat> so. Ed and Ross went to Mexico. Him and the boys went to Mexico. Uh, train Canada. XQC looking to go to Canada, right? Now, why on earth is that? Well, online gambling 
is mostly illegal in the United States. Not on a federal level, but on a state level, right? There's only like four or five maybe states that support it. It's also illegal in the UK uh, and I believe Australia where everything's illegal um, and maybe like a couple other places. So it's basically illegal. Uh, the whole time, if I go right now to stake.com, it's going to tell me Due to our gaming license, we cannot accept players from the United States. Contact us via support at stake if you require further assistance. So now, we know that Train has been gambling on the site. We know that XQC has been gambling on the site. We know that the only way to do so is to use a VPN. Right? That's it. Uh, we also now know in a roundabout way, that Eddie, the uh, owner, or one of the, I think he's the CEO maybe or something, uh, of uh, of Stake.com, knows that they are illegally gambling from the United States, which is why they need to ban the account. He said himself, he said, they have to ban your account and you have to make a new one. Why? Because it's a CYA, it's a cover your ass thing. If they say... Well, we found out they were gambling in the States, so we banned them. <laughs> then they're covered. They're covered. Yeah, it's fine. So, this is some shady shit, phony. Stay safe. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> You're now being monitored by the, I by the IRS. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> so, we know right now that XQC is living at Soda Poppin's place, another streamer. Um, and it's because something's being done to his house. And he said specifically in another clip that he may not even return there. So that means probably maybe he's planning on moving to Canada, perhaps. Now, XQC is a from what I've read, he's a Canadian resident. So or like citizen. So maybe that's an easy move for him. Um, we know that Trainwrecks. I mean, Trainwrecks is just streaming earlier today. I caught this right here. I actually quick quick you can't save clips on his stream so I caught this so this is him I actually so check this out he's got 200,000 in the bank right now right 200,000 balance and he's got he's betting 400 per I just happen to start recording at this moment here right where he ends up winning 296,000 dollars 296,000 dollars and so he's like Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Now, <laughs> of course, I don't know sounds. So I have to fill it in, right? He's all, yay, yay, so good. He keeps the winnings. That's right. He keeps the winnings. He doesn't get the losses, but he keeps the winnings. And then he goes back to continue to, to just basically bang out $400, $400, $400, $400, $400, $400, like it's nothing, right? Oh, do you want to win like me? Code 8 for 15% rake back. Stake.com. Use my code. <clears throat> You're a lip reader, boy. I know. See, people are having fun of these uh, putting quarters in, but man, yeah, they're paying for losses. So he's not losing anything. He's just he's just, he's playing for probably more than two million dollars a month, right? From what we've seen. Thanks, thanks, Adam Ross, uh, and obviously not losing any money in the process. So just money on top of money. So there is a BBC article that goes in depth. Real investigative journalism. Thank you so much, BBC. <laughs> uh, and this was done over a year ago. And they talk a little bit about... Um, it's it's an audio file. Listen to the whole thing here. But just so you'll have some on the screen here. Uh, <clears throat> and so I'll read this to you. It says... And this is this is where this goes. Stake.com has a license, a gambling license from Curacao. Now, Curacao is a small island off of Venezuela, and the reason why they go there is because the the taxes are low, the um uh, the licenses that they could give support cryptocurrency gambling, so they're gambling cryptocurrency, not real money, which puts it in a gray area, I guess. Of course, it's some small I uh, some small island somewhere exactly. So it says Curacao is a small island, da, 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 and it says. 
These Curacao licenses have no validity in the UK, but they do al allow operators to open bank accounts. According to the US State Department, Curacao is a major route for money laundering of drugs money from Latin America, with online gambling being one of the methods used. But who issues the licenses? The plot thickens as it turns out the licensing system is doubt has doubtfully doubtful legality uh, and could have been designed to encourage political corruption. In fact, we discover one of Curacao's top politicians was assassinated a few days after threatening to blow the gaff on gambling practices. The first prime minister of the newly autonomous island was jailed for political corruption after it was shown that he had laundered money received by major gambling operated uh, op operator alleged uh, by the Italian police to have mafia connections. So... Well, no shit. <laughs> Curacao is only recently independent. They were part of the Netherlands for a long time. They're now they're still part of the Kingdom of Netherlands. Thank you so much, Jagerix, Dimmy. You guys are the best. Um, they are part of the Kingdom, but they are not necessarily part of the country proper. But businesses can still operate across. So you'll find, as I was going through, I was like, wow, there's a lot of people here who are Dutch. And who have businesses in Dutch. I, I, I dug up all these fucking people. <laughs> so, yes, they are they are a separate country within the kingdom. Thank you so much. Yes, they're part of a, 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 a group of, of islands or something. Like, England is a country in the UK. There you go. Boom. Thank you so much. He's Dutch, by the way. Don't question his authority. All right? You got it. Um, so, <clears throat> if we go back to stake.com and we close this window here, we can still see the site. Cool. Let's scroll down to the bottom and we can read the fine print down here okay steak is owned and operated by medium rare nv which I can't find any information on the only medium rare i could find doesn't really actually have anything to do with this um our registration number 1453 dot, 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 dot. registered address is in french blanc i'm sure i'm messing that up uh <laughs> in curacao right here uh a little bit further down we could say steak is authorized and regulated by the government of Curacao, operates under license number 8048-JAZ issued to Antilophone. So Antilophone. So I was like, wow, who's Antilophone? So I started to look. <clears throat> First, I went to go look at the actual license. This is the actual license. Got to click here. Security check. And it says right here, this is when the license for medium rare was created, November 13th, 2017. And <clears throat> this license is for, it basically says to provide offshore games uh, of chance and wagering through the internet in compliance with the regulations of the government of Curacao. The service shall be referred to for all purposes as internet casino slash internet wagering, internet sports book provided by, but, da, 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 and the local e-zone law, right? Which is a recent law that was passed that allows them to do a lot of this stuff. Um, <clears throat> update, update Chrome. Fuck, get the fuck out. No one cares about the updates. When it turns red, that's a problem. And so I was like, okay, well, that tells me nothing because I can't see who is, like, who's running this thing. I say Executive Corporate Management BV, right? Registration number. Okay, that that doesn't really lead me too far. Um, it says I kind of buy them out. I know it's 100 shares for $1. Yeah, no, this company is worth a lot more than that. So I decided to see who in telephone was. I go here and I find this. Curacao Master License 8048 slash JAZ. So, <clears throat> Antilophone, it says not a lot is known about Antilophone. And this is uh, much the same as the most of the Master License holders in Curacao. So, a Master License holder. A Master License holder in Curacao is somebody who has a license for iGaming, online gambling. And they basically sell like sub license uh out to other companies like for example medium rare and v also known as stake.com um and i think primedice.com another one we'll get to that in a second and so <clears throat> it's known that they could you know they could make like thousands of dollars per month per license which doesn't really seem like a lot doesn't really seem like a lot, but the master licensee or the master licensee is supposed or licensor is supposed to regulate what is happening when, with the licenses being divvied out to the, the being sublicensed out. Uh, <clears throat> so Antilophone is supposed to be the one that's enforcing 
uh, and reprimanding whenever something happens, like, I don't know, somebody streams to 15,000, 20,000 people that they're using stake.com when they clearly live in the United States. That's pretty much illegal. They're supposed to be enforcing those things. And so I was like, wow, why didn't they do anything? So here it says, <clears throat> under this license, apart from its own diligence and legalities, license holder is not authorized to offer its services in the territories of the U.S., Netherlands, France, France, Dutch West Indies, and Curacao. Before reporting such non-compliance, please make sure the license holder is not operating under multiple licenses, allowing the legal operation of the above regions. I already checked. Stake.com is not operating under multiple licenses. They only have one. It's the one that says it cannot. they cannot allow gambling in the U.S. Until a phone should only be contacted by players when they believe an operator is in breach of their license. So there's somebody supposed to be reaching out and telling them, hey, man, you know, they're kind of fucked up. You can do this. And then it says, <clears throat> it is very hard to find anything about the license holder. So. I tried to find out more about the license holder. But first. I found. What was that number? So close to boobs, right? 8048. J-A-Z. This is Bonkers Bet. Bonkers! Bonkers Bet. Just some, just another online casino. Scroll down here. At the wee bottom. Wee! Oh, God, can I go close? Wee bottom. We see right here. Bonkers Bet is a brand of Velorum Corporation and V. Also operating out of the same fucking place with the same license. Whoa. Let's go another one. Is Mike going to be assassinated for taking all this up? Probably. This, there's a chance. This site is not in language I understand. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because all we're looking for is 8048. Oh, would you look at that? Hey, this was a telephone. Ring, 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 a telephone. Come on, we got you. <laughs> By the way, I love my life. Everything is great. I love everything. Okay? Nothing. Okay? Just so you guys know. Again, another site. Wow. Okay, we're we're going to we're just going to zoom out. I don't know how to get rid of that. I'll go close that. <laughs> Same thing. 2222 A048. Ah, JAZ. From 2015 to 2023. Right? Mike isn't going to McAfee himself. No, I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Uh, there's two more of the sites. Tower Bet, Pluto's Net. We'll let it load. We'll let it load. As you can see, it's just another, like, of our probably fair Bitcoin games. I don't know who is going to go and play that. Probably fair. It's probably fair. Probably. <laughs> uh, again, same thing. Four zero. Oh, is there eight zero? Eight zero four eight. Right there at the bottom. Right? They're all operating... Same, just same, right? Do they hold on, do they use a different address I'm on the same street? Let me see. This one eight zero four eight. Oh, this this is a different address, but same. <laughs> this one is uh, well, it's a telephone, so it doesn't matter. Rocks Casino. Oh no! It says I've done something bad. Uh, I'll always translate Russian. Dear visitor. Oh, be prohibited. Ah, eh, just use just use a use a damn VPN. You'd be good. You'd be good. Here is a list of licenses that are used for multiple sites. This is 8048 Jazz. And you can see here, there are a lot. There are a fucking lot here. <clears throat> and there is, they're not the only one. There's others that also support multiple but the 8048 slash jazz is the one that has probably the most by a long shot, according to this list, right? I tested a, a random collection of these. Some of them don't exist anymore. Some of them do, and they tell me I can't see anything. So they just say flat out, you can't look, right? Um, uh, and others, you know, like the one we just saw, you get a brief moment to kind of scroll through and just see what's, you know, what, what's there. And so <clears throat> I was like, okay, how do I find out who the actual license holder is for Intellifone? So I went and I dug and I found same site, right? The Curacao Chamber of Commerce. Um, and I hear from Intellifone, limited liability company, 1994. 1994. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the company types are telecommunications service, investment institution, lottery and gambling. Pretty broad. 
pretty broad. But also, 1994. So this would be like the beginning of online gambling because, you know, that's pretty much when people started getting on America Online, right? So, of course, gambling is going to try to find a new way to, to reach out and uh, make some money. But there's a name attached to this one. Roberts Clemens Maria Vermulian. And so, I finally have a name. And it turns out Robert is the CEO of Antilophone. Here he is. And it shows here that he's CEO of Antilophone 23 years it's a long time. Uh, oh, sorry. There's an additional 10 years before that. <laughs> uh, he grew up in Cross. According to this, he grew up in, in, in Curacao. So he's, he's a native there. Uh, v v butchering a ver Vermulin? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> the elusive man, totally. So he is... <clears throat> uh, he is, as far as I can tell, the only active employee... I'm sure there's more. All I'm saying is that on LinkedIn, I found a list of people that work that, or worked at Intellifone and pretty much every single one has left latest, most recent they've left is like 2003 or 2001. So pretty much for like 20 years, like 20 years or so, nobody has documented that they have worked for Intellifone. So I don't know who works there, right? I don't know who works there. Um, but I did find that Robert has another business and this site is pretty old, okay? It's pretty old. It's probably like 10 years old or something like that, but it's still here. Uh, and it is uh, a, a service. It's a business that is owned by uh, Rob uh, Vermeulen and they basically assist in getting companies who want to bring their business to Curacao. Right, they want to help them, bring them in, you know, help them with the tax stuff and all that. We've got lower taxes, all this stuff, um, and you know, just kind of get them situated and everything. They want to bring their business to the island, uh, and so I went to the contact page to see who's part of this, and what I found is that Robert or Raul Raul Bear, who is the management e management, it says. I went, he's on LinkedIn also. LinkedIn is so good for this stuff. He's on LinkedIn and he is a member of the Curacao Chamber of Commerce and Industry. He's a member of the board. So he has connections with maybe, maybe it's a small island. Maybe these all know each other, you know? Also, I should know there's a gap. There's a gap here, right? Could be that the website was prior to him working for the commerce chamber of commerce uh, you could see the e-management group is 2004 to present never mind <laughs> yeah so look e-management here and yeah this is e-management group so he's still part of that group he's the coo chief operating operating officer of the e-management group um and he also is a member of the curacao chamber of commerce board right so he basically helps you know, um, make, make the rules and monitor businesses coming in while simultaneously also helping the businesses come in. The other group, PWC that's on here, uh, price, price water house Coopers, uh, is actually one of the four biggest accounting firms in the world. They're just an accounting firm. I don't think there's really anything salacious here or anything like that. Really? It feels like this situation with the Chamber of Commerce thing, if this was the U.S., I'd be like, there's a conflict of interest there. There's a conflict, just a little bit of conflict of interest there. You know, this goes deep. <laughs> this, I mean, the island is known. It's, it's known for money laundering and just shady business tactics. There was, I mean, like I mentioned, there was an assassination of, of a previous official because they wanted to stop some of the online gambling stuff. There's money involved in that. There's money involved. One of the Dutch reporters, investigative reporters who was looking into this, uh, was actually threatened, like threatened, threatened her life. She had to go into a witness protection program. Um, 
And they threatened her not just in Curacao, but also in the Netherlands. They basically was like, yeah, we're just going to follow you home. No big deal. Uh, and so we're looking at a... Um, <laughs> Mike's FBI agent is freaking out right now. <laughs> it starts with... It starts with... Two million dollars plus expenses covered because they want to get they want they want to advertise to to uh, on Twitch, and so they're doing these extraordinarily shady shady things, um, uh, or tactics by covering losses, which you should not do. Right, it's not part of gambling. You shouldn't do it. Um, and then they're turning around, and then it leads all the way into just like it. The root of this is corrupt. On the surface, it looks like it looks like it could be corrupt, right? It looks like it. If it wasn't for the fact that Rule Bear was part of the Chamber of Commerce while simultaneously also being part of a group, could be an old website. Maybe it doesn't do that anymore. But where are all the Intellifone employees? Where are they? It's so hard to find anything on this company. <laughs> Shouldn't they have to see me be all over Twitch for all this? Well, in a way, yeah. Twitch is, I mean, essentially, allegedly, allowing people to illegally stream on their service, right? Now, who's, who, who's supposed to reinforce that? Is it the FTC? Is it the, the local state's gambling commission? But Twitch making that sub money. This is much bigger than that. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is <laughs> Twitch didn't know or still monitoring it. Yeah, this is uh yeah, this is close to being just really, really mm. uh, So we know XQC is is contemplating moving to Canada, or at least he's been presented an offer to move to Canada. Uh, so he can gamble. We know he's been gambling lately. We know that previously he had some comments about that. He says here, um, turn us up. He says here specifically on I don't this. Like, I don't like what he said. I think, I think, um, I, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I, I, I will not somebody, um, I will not take moral advice from somebody who promotes gambling to children. Okay. Right. Yeah. He's got his own <laughs> aged beautifully. <laughs> So he has, you know, spoken out against it. Now he's partaking in it. Kind of like Indy Fox spoke out against the whole, you know, selling sexuality on Twitch. And now she's a major proponent. She's a pioneer. She's a pioneer. Um, Forzen had a take on it. Hey, did someone say money? That's right. Two million dollars a year. Four million dollars a year. Crazy numbers. Listen to Forzen. All right. If you don't believe me, which I know you guys do. You guys believe me, right? And you'll believe Forzen. He just sounds like you would never tell a lie. Listen. Peers, right? You look at your friends, and you re I realize, like, they do this for one month, and they would make more than me streaming for years, and years and years. Several years. And I'm sitting here like a fucking idiot, like, uh, I'm sitting here like a fucking idiot, like, saying, but I have morals. Dude, fuck morals. I'd have to stream Dota Soul Q for fucking five years straight, dude, or some shit, like, a couple years straight. Like, even to be close. Like, imagine how tempting it is just saying, oh, I'll do it for a fucking month. I don't care about people getting addicted to gambling. I don't care that kids are getting addicted. It's so hard, dude. I'm telling you guys. That's why all these fucking streamers crack. Even XQC that was opposed to gambling, he does it because it's so it's a ridiculous amount of money. Ridiculous. It's borderline illegal, so they have to move around to do it, right? And it's ridiculous. Hey, I, I might crack one day. I'm telling you guys. I'm being real, you guys. I might crack one day and do it myself. I'm just trying to offer you guys how hard it is l being, like, on the same level as people. Your peers, right? Microphone. Uh, so, yeah, sorry. I, I read the title. I read the title. Yeah, Dota. Yeah, yeah I got it. Uh, I read the title. Dota, Dota 4 is a mistake. Um, so, this is a clip from Gorg, Gorg C. I'm here! Anyways, anyways, the, the the point the point of this is that he is uh uh he makes a good point. It's like you know they're making tons and tons and tons of money and they just got to move around a little bit and that's it. I mean, there's there's no there's no um 
regard for the damage that could be done. You know? There's no regard for the damage that could be done. There's no regard for this. Um, sort of how, like, Pirate Bay jumped domains back in the day. Exactly, exactly. There's no regard for, you know, if if people, if, if we're streaming to kids and all that stuff. They don't give a shit about that. They don't give a shit. Of course they don't. Of course they don't. Are you kidding me? They don't care. They're, they're, make, they're making their own money, and they're going to make, you know, two to four million dollars, you know, a month. A month. And even he's saying, he's saying, he's saying, you know, it's like, it's like I might crack. I might crack. It might happen. I might do it myself. Uh, and you know what? Like, fucking why not? I mean, if it's allowed on Twitch and you just got to move for a month, fucking why not? Um, so did XQC move in with Soto so he could say he wasn't home and just move on when needed? Fuck it. Who knows? Who knows? We Right now, Trainwreck just moved to Canada and he's been gambling streams for about a month or so. That's right. That's right. So right now we have, um, right now we have like a, there's definitely a stop. Like this stuff happened today. Okay. So there's gotta be some kind of movement that's happening or not happening now as a result of XQC leaking <laughs> DM showing clearly that, uh, that they were trying to, um, work around the system by using VPNs and all that stuff. You can't do that, you know? Like, you're still physically in the United States. You're still physically in the United States. Sure, online gambling is not something that's heavily enforced in terms of, like, legalities and, you know, breaking the law and all that stuff. It's not heavily enforced, right? Doesn't mean that it's not illegal. Um, what if XUC leaked it on purpose? <laughs> not that clever. <laughs> XUC saves us all. Yeah, so... As it stands right now, what we know is that these websites are paying um, people to gamble, which is not surprising. Crazy amounts of money. Uh, and also covering their losses. So when you see somebody just going 600, 600, 600, 600, boom, 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 boom. That doesn't mean shit because they're getting it back. They're not losing anything. They're losing nothing. And so... And then it just goes down all the way down to crazy licensing, sub-licensing. Apparently, there's no law that says you can sub-license out your licenses. But, you know, when your gambling commission or whatever is part of, uh, is feeding money into your government, and your government's known for, you know, shady practices, that's, uh, that's a recipe for corruption, pretty much. In other news, Snapchat got Universal Music Group. They gave them a global licensing deal so they could play their music. They also they already had Sony, Warner, BMG, NP, NMPA, and Merlin. So now you can just put any song you want in Snapchat. Don't have to worry about any kind of content ID stuff. Would it be nice if Twitch did that? Anyways, that's it for the news. <laughs> Speaking of corruption, you described all the government, Mike. I did. I did. Absolutely. But this one, this one, this one, that's on my space, dude. Not my space. It's on my, my space, my Twitch. Son of a bitch. You missed the news about gambling. Yes, you did. It's a good one. Thank you so much for watching. Chat, hang out for a second. What, Jimmy? <laughs> Chat, thank you so much for hanging out. I love you because it's great. Bye.